So it's very easy to get a GitHub repo which already exists onto your local machine. You just do a git clone. But how do you go the other way if you've created a git repo locally and you want to push that to a new GitHub repo which you're going to create on GitHub? Let me run through that. So I'm in a new folder here. There's nothing in here. And I'm going to do a git init. This is going to initialize a empty git repo here. So now if I list everything in here, I've got that .git folder. I've got that repo here. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to add a file. Now I've got that file. I'm going to add that file to staging. Commit the change. And then I want to push this to a remote repository on GitHub. If I try that now, it doesn't have one. There is no remote GitHub repository set up, which is where this is going to try to push to. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go to GitHub and I'm going to create that repo. So on GitHub, hit the plus new repository, and I'm going to call it sample repo. I'll go with these default settings and then I can create it. One really common mistake here is to add a readme file and check this box. If you do that, then to add the file to this repo remotely on GitHub, GitHub is going to have to make a commit to it. It'll add one commit, which adds the readme file because it commits those changes, the changes of creating and adding the empty readme file. The problem with that is now that your remote repository, which has the readme and your local repository, which has this file, they're going to have different histories. One history is going to say the first thing they did was add a readme. The other history is going to say the first thing they did was add the myfile.txt. And because of that, you won't be able to merge them. So don't hit add a readme file when you create a GitHub repo if you're trying to connect that repo to a local repo which already exists. I'm going to go with these settings and hit create repository. Now the GitHub repo has been created. And you can see this looks a little different from when I created a repo which had something in. This one's empty and it's basically telling me, hey, you should probably connect this to something so that you can push code to it. The quick setup here, these steps, walk me through what I'm going to show you and I'll talk about them in more detail than these instructions do now. Now that I've created the repo, I can get this URL which points to it. I'm going to copy that and then I'm going to go back to my local repo. Now, if we look at the error, which we got when we tried to push, it says either specify the URL from the command line or configure a remote repository using this command. This is the command which I'm going to use, git remote, and the subcommand git remote add. What that allows you to do is to specify the name of a remote repository and specify where it is with the URL. And that URL is the one I just copied from GitHub. The first question is, what do I name this repo? There is a conventional name, which is origin. So we name the GitHub repo the origin. That's the origin of where you should get the code from. It's the origin of where everybody else should get it from. So that's the name I give my GitHub repo here in the git remote add command. And then I'm going to paste the URL, which I just copied. Now, if I run that, nothing seems to happen. But if I run git remote now, that's going to list my remote repositories. And I've got one and it's called origin now. That's the name of the GitHub repo, which behind the scenes is pointing to this URL. Now I'll try and do my git push again. And I get a different error. It says the current branch main has no upstream branch. That might be a little bit confusing to understand if you haven't seen it before, but what it means intuitively is that this branch doesn't know the name of the branch on the remote repo, which it should be pushing to. Most of the time, that branch is going to have the same name. So I'm on the branch main locally. And I want to push the branch main on the remote repo, which is on GitHub. So to fix this, literally just copy what it tells you to do. It says to push the current branch and set the remote as upstream, use this. What that refers to is the branch on the remote repo. And so I'm literally just going to copy that, paste it there, and it's going to set the name of the branch which this one links to on the remote repo origin to main. Note that you can have multiple different remote repos and they could be all different things other than origin um, but that's pretty uncommon so I won't go into that here. But I'm going to run this command 
to set the remote upstream branch for this branch here. So when I run this command, what it's gonna do is it's gonna push my commits to the remote branch. And with this dash dash set upstream flag, it's gonna set the remote branch which we're pushing to, which we call the upstream branch, to the main branch on my remote with the name origin. And now, if we go back here, the GitHub repo, my remote repo, and refresh, you'll see that now the commits, which I've changed locally, have been stored there. So we've linked these two repos together. I've got a local repo, and it's linked to my remote repo. So to run over the steps, which we just did, print my history, you can see the most recent commands. I initialized a file, I made some commits, tried to push, I had to add a remote repo, which I called origin, and then I could push to it. But when I did that, I would have to set the upstream branch to the main branch on that repo. So if you can do that, it means that you can create repos locally and push them remotely.